Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mechanismaler. When the electric current passes through a straight wire it creates a magnetic field around it. We can increase magnetic field intensity by winding an insulated copper wire in a certain direction. If we want further increase intensity, we should do multiple winding of the copper wire. However, we pay attention not to wind in the opposite direction, since this will cancel the effect of previous winding. We should do straight line return from one end of winding to the starting end of the winding when we do multiple winding. Inside the iron material, each atom acts as a natural magnet. Since they are in random orientation, the effect of this tiny magnets cancels each other. However, when an iron core put inside a copper wire winding, described before, all these tiny magnetic fields inside the iron core will align itself in the direction of magnetic field. Hence, the effect of iron core electromagnet will be much stronger. The strength of magnetic field also affected by the magnitude of the current passes through it, up to a saturation point where there is no further iron atom left in the core that is not aligned with the magnetic field. Also by stopping current flow through electromagnet we can remove magnetism effect on the core and in the wires. The biggest advantage of an electromagnet is that the polarities can be changed just reversing the flow directions. This gives us greater flexibility when we build electric motors or generators. It also requires some convention to find the polarity of the electromagnets. We use right hand rule to do that. When we grip the bolt with the right hand as shown. The four fingers holding the bolt is showing the direction of the current and the thumb shows magnetic north pole. If we change the direction of the flow, the gripping of the bolt with right hand should be as shown. Notice that the forefinger also show the flow direction in this position and magnetic south becomes magnetic north. This is my first animation about electricity, and I intend to do more. I hope they will help some of my followers, who were asking this kind animation, to understand the subject much better. Notice that moving yellow circles demonstrates the electric current direction. If they were representing electron motions, they should move in opposite direction to give same magnetic polarity to the bolt. Notice also the winding of wires is not as close as possible. In the real winding, each loop should be in contact with surrounding loops. I have done this intentionally to show you how the current was flowing at the back side of the bolt. This makes the animation more realistic. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.